Uh, I'm an aviation survival technician. That's a rescue swimmer, fly on the helicopters. EPIRB is a great tool. It's helped a lot of people, and it's, it's making a difference. It really is. I've seen firsthand what happens when we get those signals and we go out and rescue somebody that actually needed help. And then I've seen firsthand what happens when we only get a report of somebody overdue or a radio call and we're searching miles and miles and miles and miles to find someone, whereas if they had the EPIRB, we can go directly to that person. Uh, the Boro 6 EPIRB system is absolutely great. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. So any improvements that can be made to that, I absolutely would, would say go for it. prospect of the golden hour, that if you can get to a person in distress in that first hour, you have a much greater chance of rescuing that person and bringing them home alive. Это действительно вопрос, который лежал в основе создания программы Каспас Сарсат. Задача была не отделиться границами, а задача была создать непрерывный прозрачный для всех границ инструмент поиска и спасания человеческой жизни, потому, потому что самое дорогое, самое ценное, что имеет человек на сегодня, это человеческая жизнь, которая неизмерима. We have change at every part of the system. Only the user are not changing. MEOSAR stands for Medium Earth Orbit Search and Rescue, and it's the next generation of COSPA SAR satellites. MEOSAR satellites are satellites that fly at medium Earth orbit, which is the Global Navigation Satellite System, GPS, Galileo, and GLONASS. And these satellites today are typically used for navigation purposes. So your GPS receivers you have in your car, your GNSS receivers in your car, allow you to take that information and make sure you know where you are at every second uh, on your on the road and on the map and on the face of the earth. Cospa Sarasat thought what a great idea to put our own repeaters on these systems to have near real time reception of distress beacons around the world. So in that same way, when we get the signals from our beacons, we can use the MEOSAR system to detect and figure out and locate people in distress. We are in the middle of a very aggressive transition. You have to remember, Cospa Sarasat has been going strong for over 30 years. This is a total overhaul of not just the ground segment, but the beacons themselves and the space segment. It is going to result in, in a wonderful system that will be used for another 30 to 50 years easily. The time that it takes to locate a distress. You know, in a situation when every hour can matter uh, and sometimes make the difference between death and life, you need to be fast. People want to get faster access to information. You need to be faster. Navigation needs to be more accurate. There is no exception that Cosper Sarsat wouldn't face the same type of trend. This is why the uh, transition from LIOSAR and MIOSAR is quite natural to make sure that Cosper Sarsat remains at the forefront of uh, life saving systems. Another big difference uh, between MIOSAR and uh, LEO and GEO will be the size of the constellation. We're talking about up to three constellations that might be carrying our search and rescue capability. So with GPS, that would be 24 satellites, Galileo, another 24 satellites, with GLONASS, maybe an additional 24 satellites. So we're talking at, one, at some point in the future, maybe in late 2020s, we could have up to 72 satellites in orbit, an extremely robust space safety capability. recently had the largest save in the history of the U.S. SARSAT program, single event save, 47 saves uh, off of Alaska. And uh, case study shows that the MEOSAR system performed very well in terms of both detection and location, whereas the LEO GEO system, even though it detected in this case uh, at the same time, the location took at least another hour.
the emotions I have uh, when, from uh, the fact that I know that someone is saved is incredible. When personally I don't save lives, I don't, I'm not a SAR operator, I'm not a, not a Coast Guard officer, but I, I, I know that I'm saving lives and that's amazing. That's the most amazing thing in cost Pastor said. <laughs> that we all contribute to this most important thing, life. Thank you.